I've been a band director for 19 years. Past 19 years, I taught public school and uh, worked with various organizations. Uh, but I've been involved with marching bands since I was freshman in high school. So, you know, 1990, you know, that's like 27 years. My genre music as I've gotten older has actually become quite eclectic. When I was younger, I used to listen to nothing but like big band jazz and all of that. Now that I'm older, I listen to a lot of classic rock, a lot of R&B. Uh, I like the band Tower of Power a lot. I like Led Zeppelin a lot. Um, sometimes actually when I get in the car, I switch off from what I do, you know, teaching either a marching band or concert band, and I listen to something completely different. Most interesting gig I've ever played, I've done a lot of what they call club date mu uh, music work where you play society parties, weddings, things like that. And I found myself many times playing for some pretty famous people's weddings. So like uh, Billy Joel's second wedding, Geraldo Rivera's, you know, wedding, uh, you know, some pretty famous people you end up at their house or like their, you know, some fancy place and all of a sudden you see all these celebrities. It's pretty cool. Being a Jersey guy and being here my entire life, I went to public school here, taught public school, attended college. Um, Rutgers has been a place that's always been very important to me. It's always been a place I hope that someday I could be a part of. I'm super grateful and thankful because it's a place that I've always held very near and dear to my heart since I was a kid. My vision for the program uh, is pretty far-reaching. Uh, right now we have a five-year uh, goal of building our enrollment and growing the program. I'm excited to say we're up to 220 members so far this year. Uh, we want to build the band to 350 within the next five years. Um, we have an idea of bringing a new different approach, you know, uh, exciting, energetic, a little bit more rock and roll infused shows. Um, this year you're going to find that our halftime shows are going to be a little bit more uh, gritty in your face, a little bit more um, up-tempo music that we're choosing. And then the combination to that is in the stands, we're going to have an active role in game day um, with a lot of our war cries and music we play in between downs is going to be medieval sounding, tying into our our feeling of the Scarlet Night and what you know empowers us as as a program, but it's going to have a New Jersey twist to it. So you're going to see a balance of like down and dirty New Jersey, a little bit more gritty rock and roll, and then upholding the standards and traditions about what it means to be a Scarlet Night.